I'm Jeff Howald, and we're selling banjos on eBay. And there's three banjos we'll show you today, all in the same clip. And the first one's got to be a Stelling Virginian, which is a walnut banjo. And uh, this really has some nice detail on it. It's in great condition. We're going to come in close to the head here, and I'm just going to do this kind of casually. Be talking to the cameraman, so you'll see the camera going here and there. And you can just see that this is in really extraordinary shape. This banjo was bought in 2002 by a guy who uh, very seldom ever played it. In fact, he owned three banjos, two mandolins, and various other things. Okay, that's that. Now, look at the tailpiece on this. Now, if you go to the Stelling website, of course, you can see the parts, but we're talking really good parts. And uh, this... I'm never going to say anything's perfect, but this one's pretty darn close. Okay, so that's the tailpiece. You saw the armrest. And uh, then we go on the fingerboard. We can start anywhere you want. We can start at the headstock. The headstock is beautiful. And, of course, you're going to see this if you go to eBay. There's some really nice pictures on that. And I'm actually going to turn this headstock around and see what you'll see the keys on it. And you'll see this extraordinary wood all right, and uh, why don't we look at the back of the neck here? Look at that wood. Uh, you can even uh, now you'll notice this this wood as you move it around. It, it you know it changes. You know it just changes. I mean look at that from there, and then the uh, resonator wood's really cool too. And uh, look at that. And I'm gonna turn this resonator a little bit, and sometimes. Uh, I mean, there are no gouges or anything. I mean, there's some marks on it. You can see some button scratches, but it's, you know, it's in really pretty good shape. Now, once again, this is not absolutely brand new. We're not representing this as a perfect new, but some people would. It's that nice. Okay, and let's look at the sides with the uh, abalone pearl inlay work. And once again, you can get an I some more idea of the the wood and also the sunburst finish, which uh, is a very skilled finish. And uh, then let's go turn the neck over again. Let's just look at these inlays a little bit. And uh, so the Virginian has uh, upgraded colorful inlays. Uh, see if we can turn a little bit, and you can just see that this it, these pieces of pearl are slightly different colors, and it makes these beautiful inlays on there okay and I'm going to turn the neck on its side and you'll once again see that you've got that beautiful pearl abalone pearl all the way up the neck on both sides and um, as far as play wear uh, once again this fellow probably only played on the first two frets so you pretty much almost can't see any play wear I mean there's a few little marks where the strings touched on the first two or three frets, which I don't even know if you can see on this video. Uh, and from here up all the way up, there's virtually, and I'm going to look at this to make sure, there was just no playing. So this is a wonderful banjo. Uh, go to eBay, uh, to Atlanta Music and Education, Atlanta Music and Education, or in your search engine for eBay, you might just look under uh, Stelling Virginian Banjo, but you'll find it. And then once you're on the site, you'll see other, other beautiful things. So hopefully between me playing the banjo and you seeing the pictures, you'll get a good idea of what it is. All right, we'll go to the next banjo. I'm going to uh, put this banjo down and pick up a Crafters of Tennessee Tennessee banjo. The site's ATL Music Okay, the cameraman just uh, corrected me the site, if you heard him. The site is ATL Music and Education. Is that correct? All right, excellent. Yeah, this, uh, as I say, this is pretty casual, but hopefully it gives you whatever information you need because we really don't want to go to all the trouble of shipping a banjo to you 
Notice all three of these banjos are top professional instruments. I don't know that I would buy a banjo from listening to it on YouTube because banjos have so much adjustment to them. But I just wanted to let you know that all of them sound good and they're, they're good banjos. All right, so this is a pretty basic instrument. I mean, you've got your, as you go down here, you've got your presto tail piece as we do a kind of a close up into the pot here. Uh, Cameraman will do a close up into the pot. And uh, there we go. So you see your standard Presto. You can notice that the nickel's in, in good shape. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to turn it over here and you'll just see that it's your basic mahogany. Uh, there might be just the slightest of little, a couple little burn marks, which might even come out when we polish it. Uh, but essentially, this banjo was never played, um, and so that so that just shows you, you know, it's just a real nice mahogany resonator. And then we come back to the the inlay, uh, really nice inlay, uh, fairly intricate inlay, as a matter of fact. Uh, and you just go on up, and that just gives you an idea of what it looks like onto the headstock. And this gorgeous, we'll do a close up of that. Look at that inlay on the headstock. Wow. And then we turn it over and you'll see that it's your basic mahogany neck. Uh, once again, I don't think there's hardly anywhere if anywhere. Now, we never will say that an instrument's perfect because as soon as we do, somebody takes out a magnifying glass and finds some little defect in it. So, but this is, an instrument that some people would, would refer to as perfect. Uh, okay, so we got the mahogany, we got the headstock, you can see the fingerboard, you can get a good idea of the chrome, and then let, I'm gonna look at this fingerboard for just a second. Okay. I can tell you that this banjo has never been played. There's not even the slightest mark uh, or fret divot, you know, where the strings touch the fret. I mean, it's too bad. Somebody could have really enjoyed this banjo, whoever bought it. So here's what it sounds like. All American made, all great banjos. Okay, so here's the Uber banjo. is a walnut banjo and it looks like the old RB4s from Gibson and we'll look at the resonator here in just a minute. So what we have walnut which really gives you a nice crisp sound. We've got if you'll look once again we're gonna have the uh, camera run zero in on the pot here and you'll notice that this is nickel hardware presto tails tailpiece very similar look to the Tennessee crafters we just uh, we just examined. And I'm gonna flip this over and you're going to see, once again, the uh, walnut with the fancy multi-wood rings in it, okay? Now, you can't really see this on camera. There are virtually no scratches on this. There might be a couple little button scratches, but they're a little... You'll just see on the finish... Uh, I don't even know what to call them. They're, they're very minor, but little... I don't want to call it swirls, but so you can tell when you look at this banjo if you were to compare it to a brand new one, you'd know that this was older. Now, a lot of people would think that's cool because it's got a little bit of, uh, in the finish, 
has just a little figuring in the finish. Uh, if you were to buy a 60 or 70 year old guitar, you want it to have little cracks in it because that shows that the finish is old. Okay, so that's the back. And then of course the next walnut, which uh, we'll just go up the back of the neck here for a second. So that's it and we'll do a close up. And this is walnut, which kind of, at least on this video, looks a little bit like uh, mahogany, but it is not, it's walnut. Um, the chrome is in good shape. You will find here and there some little, I call it, uh, marks. I mean, so once again, the chrome may look perfect from here, but it does have little, uh, I, I don't know if I'd call them corrosion, but may, you might call it just minor, minor, little minus, microscopic. Uh, so from a distance, it looks perfect, but when you look at it real close, you'll see little, little things in the finish. And the only other thing I'll do is this has some really cool inlay on it. Uh, just look at, we'll go up there and see that. And the headstock, Uber. Um, Uber now makes a true tone tone system, which is like a thousand dollars more. And somebody asked about that. Th this is the standard Uber, uh, and you can buy this really nice banjo for a lot less than if you bought a new one. Just once again, go to uh, uh, our eBay site, and you can either look up Uber Roanoke banjo, look up. Uh, Stelling Virginian Banjo, look up ATL Music and Education. ATL Music and Education. That's another way to find our stuff. And you'll find all kind of stuff. And if you have any questions, just give us a call. See you later.